So here's our next problem. A boat is to cross a river by heading directly to the opposite side. And the current is 15 kilometers per hour to the right. What angle must the boat head? So there's the shore, the river, the opposite shore. And you want to head directly across. So you must make motion as shown by the red arrow. That's what your velocity has to end up being. However, the current is pulling you to the right. Therefore, you must head into the current. So now, try the problem. The first thing we have to do is label each of these vectors. Now, the easiest one is this one here, 15 kilometers per hour. That's how fast the water, the current, is carrying the boat downstream. This red arrow is simply the final velocity, the resultant that it would be as you're moving across the shore. Now the question is, what is this R right here? What is this velocity that you're heading into the stream? And the answer is it's 25 kilometers per hour, the same velocity you would do in still water. That's what this boat is capable of. Now look at the little toy car crossing the treadmill. What you'll see is this little toy car is capable of a particular velocity, whether the uh, treadmill is moving or not. Now watch this carefully. That you see it looks like it's moving at a pretty here slow motion of constant velocity in a certain time. But let me draw the camera back, and here's what you see. It's actually being carried back by the treadmill, but it still is capable of its forward motion. And so it's the same thing here. This boat is capable of tw uh, 25 kilometers per hour, and that's what it can head in that direction into the stream. So let's review and also get the answer. We head into the stream at 25 kilometers per hour, the same velocity we are capable of in still water. That's what this boat can do. And the stream carries us down at 15 kilometers per hour, and therefore it's now very easy to find the angle theta. Sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. We have the opposite and we have the hypotenuse. So we write down 15 over 25, solve for theta by the inverse of the sine, the arc sine, and theta is 36.86 degrees. Now better though is to give the angle phi, as I show here, relative to the shore. It's just easier, I think, for people to deal with. And so phi is 90 minus the theta, and we end up with um, 53 degrees. We had 53 degrees uh, from the shore.